We finally have another manhwa adaptation after Tower of God, which I completely love. So I just wanted to give my reaction, sort of like my own analysis on the trailer. So let's just jump into it. So before we actually start the video, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to watch parts of the trailer, pause it every time I have something to say. Maybe like, oh, this how this character seems like he's going to be like, if it looks interesting, if the fight scenes are cool. So basically, if I see anything interesting, I'll just pause it. And then after that, we'll move on. All right, so like at first glance, it seems like this character is kind of like just the one who really likes to fight, kind of like your uh, Naruto. They like fighting people. He's not really like Ichigo from Bleach, who like really he hates fighting. He'll just fight if he's forced to, like one of the women is stolen, you know. But basically, he at least seems driven. That's why a lot of people didn't like Ichigo, because he wasn't driven. This character at least has some drive. I hope they give a good reason for that, because I hate characters like... Uh, if you, From Tower of God, the crocodile dude, I didn't really like him at all. He had no motivations for uh, like just wanting to fight. I found that really dumb. They, they could in include one later, so we'll just see how it turns out. <laughs> Okay, so that character we just saw, I'll try to go back to him. He seems like a pretty interesting character, like just right off the bat. Uh, yeah. So it seems like that guy in the blue hair is gonna be like your sort of overpowered kind of rival guy, like the cool, like the, what's the good one? Kind of like Sasuke, he gets bored by everything, right? He thinks he's too cool for everything, that's just how he looks like he's gonna turn out. So, yeah. yeah, this guy, yeah. Yeah, everyone looks like they're sick. So basically this is, I guess, like a martial arts tournament where any sword or practice of sword art or martial art is allowed. So I assume some people are going to have weapons. Like we, I think we saw nunchucks earlier, or maybe that was a different trailer. Maybe I'm getting confused. But it seems like weapons are allowed. Uh, the way I'm thinking it's going to sort of turn up as is kind of like the Karate Kid with, what's his name, uh, Jaden Smith. Kind of like this, where this guy, the main character that we saw earlier, is probably trained by some old guy nobody's ever heard of. And then, I, keep in mind, I've never read the manhwa, so I have no idea. So let's just keep going. But that's just how I assume the main character will be. So it seems there are many like religious influences on this. Maybe it, it could be there are actually gods like in the show. I don't know yet. It could be like Demon Slayer, because if you didn't know in Demon Slayer, those like wave things aren't actually there, like the fire and all that stuff. It's sort of like in the mind. In reality, just a bunch of people use uh, having sword fights, which I kind of find like it sort of made it kind of worse. But I, I guess I, I could live with it as long as Demon Slayer is a good show. Or this is a good show. So map, but you can see a bunch of the same style, like with the new Attack on Titan season four, if that's already been out since you. Basically, I saw the trailer, they share a lot of similarities in the art style and stuff, so I just thought that was interesting. Seems like MAPPA is like taking over the new generation anime. Ooh, the fight scenes look clean. Oh, so it seems like they're actually, it might be sort of like a, I know a lot of you have lost, but like a Beyblade sort of thing where like if, behind each Beyblade, there's like an actual like monster kind of thing, but they don't really have any central role in story. Like they're not real characters. I assume that this is how like the show is going to be where it's like those monsters fighting as well, but it's like, they're not, they don't actually exist. It's more of like the personality of the person. Clearly the animators know what they're doing. Fight teams are so cool. Alright, so I guess that's it. Watching Crunchyroll.
Yeah, oh yeah, I gotta watch ReZero Season 2. But basically, my overall take on this, it seems amazing. The fight scenes seem amazing. I, I always really like sort of like the Beyblade sort of battles and stuff. Because I found it really cool. It seems like it's not going to be like your normal Hunter x Hunter type fight scenes where everything's very specific. It's more like a brawl sort of thing. Where there's a lot of slow motion stuff, you know. But either way, that's just my take on it. I hope you guys enjoyed and remember to subscribe and peace.